To be completely honest, when I first saw the GTS 3M's sculpted piece design, I was more than a little skeptical. I thought it looked weird and unnecessary. Like, if I had a dollar for every time my cube slipped out of my hands because the pieces were too flat, uh, I, I would not have one dollar. So before we talk about the GTS 3, I want to quickly talk about where it started, the Waylong GTS. Yes, Waylong is actually still part of the name. The corner cutting on this cube was unbelievably effortless, but other design compromises had to be made in order to achieve this. Specifically, the cube was really unstable. Then we have the GTS 2M, which took advantage of magnets to fix the stability issue. And the new design was also more stable, but it kind of lost the flexibility and fluid corner cuts of the original GTS. So how has the GTS 3M addressed this? Out of the box, I could already tell the GTS 3M had the flexibility that I loved from the original GTS. Flexible cubes are often unstable, but either they found a way to make this cube stable in the design or the strong magnets are doing the job. Either way, I can do algorithms with confidence despite how fast and flexible this cube is. The magnet strength feels about the same as the Ganyar SM, if not stronger, and definitely stronger than the GTS 2M. I don't always like strong magnets, it really just depends on the cube, but this cube definitely needs strong magnets. This means that besides holding the cube's shape together, the magnets also help you to align the layers on every turn, which is really important to help control faster cubes. I've been using the MFDRS2, which is on the slower end of top speed cubes, but I easily got used to the fast GTS3, probably because this cube is more stable than most fast cubes. Unlike some other fast cubes, I feel like I can really take advantage of the speed without feeling like I don't have control. And I think this is because of how amazing its corner cutting is, kind of like the original GTS. I don't feel like showing the corner cutting this way really gets across what I mean. Unless I've horribly misaligned the layers, I feel like there's nothing that ever really catches. It's kind of like I don't even have to finish my turn before I can just corner cut into the next one. I guess that's kind of the whole point of corner cutting, but I feel that more with this cube than with others. As a result, some of my algorithms have become more consistent when turning at a high speed. I wouldn't say this cube has really changed from breaking in. I've done at least 500 solves in the first week, which is a lot more than I do for most cubes when I make a review, and I have to say that's because I really, really like it. And now let's talk about the sculpted piece design. The ridges at the sides of the pieces seem kind of large, like they might get in the way, but it looks like they're less than one millimeter in height, so it's pretty small. Holding the cube still feels the same, since there are no ridges on the inner layers that would touch my thumb or my fingers at the back, only ridges on the outside. I wouldn't say it makes me turn any better at all, I think it's just all up to preference if you want a cube to feel this way. I personally like it, but I don't really think it's that important. Deciding on a new main cube always takes time, like how I had the MFDRS2 for weeks, then made a review on it and specifically said it's not my main, and then it became my main much later. If I thought a cube was perfect, it would be my main right away. So at this point, I'm happy to say that the GTS 3M is very likely going to be my main, but I just need to use it more before I really know. And since it's not perfect, let's talk about its shortcomings. Since this is a fast cube, it doesn't take a lot of force to make a turn. While some people might enjoy this, and I personally find a wide range of cube speeds to be acceptable, this can be problematic in competition. I haven't tried this in competition yet, but in general, nervousness can change the amount of force you use, and fast cubes are more sensitive to little changes like this. I found more success in competition with slower cubes, but I like the GTS 3M enough that I'll give it a shot in competition and we'll see how that goes. And maybe it's just something I need to personally overcome. Next, because this cube is flexible, every once in a while I'll lose grip of it or something like that. This is extremely rare and could just be because I'm not used to this cube, and it's far better than other flexible cubes in most aspects anyway, so this isn't really much of a shortcoming. Lastly, the GTS 3M only comes in stickerless. Maybe because putting on stickers would be awkward due to the ridges. I prefer stickerless cubes since I don't use custom sticker shades and I don't want to deal with stickers, but for some people this can be a deal breaker. I generally look for a good contrast between blue and green and between red and orange. Here we have dark blue with light green and dark red with light orange. Perfect. But for some reason this is pretty rare. For example, the MFDRS2 has a light blue and light red, and the Huanglong has a dark green and light red, meaning both of these cubes go against the usual contrast pattern. Overall, the GTS 3M is a great cube with great corner cutting, fast speed, flexible, and doesn't have the problems that most flexible cubes have. It's not perfect, but it's definitely one of my favorites right now. If you're interested, I put a link in the description where you can buy this cube, and you can use the discount code JPERM at checkout to get a discount on your order, which also helps to support this channel. 
If you'd like to help even more or just get access to the rewards that I offer, I'd really appreciate it if you consider supporting me on Patreon. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys all next time.